I'm just unpacking the box. Instructions to on side. Clears in space. So we've got on blade. So I need some scissors. So we've cut so do this nice and neatly. Bottom plate, so I'll take the line over that way, and then I'll see. And here you've got your plus, plus, and negatives. And I know which which ones to when you get to the point when we get to it to solder it solder all together. So nice and easy that looks like. And I suppose that will fit in some sort of. Alignment that way. Got to figure it out. So there's bottom plate, top plate, arms. So we've got one, one set, two sets, three sets, six. That looks like the camera tray and the bossy. All the nut and bolts you need. So that's the box empty. So we move that out of the way with. And then we got the confusing instruction book, which tells you one, two, three, four. So three. So ones. One's legs, so it doesn't tell you on the instructions because these are numbered. You've got five legs are all one, got four, which is the that's the that's yeah, that's the legs, or one's uh, the arms, that's the tray, and it doesn't really sort of tell you on here which ones go well or how. So it's literally playing by the ear. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to unpack all this so we get the arms out. So we've so got one, two, three, four, um, get rid of the rubbish, clear up the go. Five, six. So there are the, the arms. And then we got legs. Make sure to keep your nice clean bench, remember guys. So you know it. So don't bore you guys, I'm gonna just you make the build and I'm gonna sort of like pause in between. So when I slice this all together. Um, I'm not going to show you everything um, bolt going in, in into the, each one. I'll show you where where I put them, and then build it, and then show the next stage. So you get a sort of rough idea how it's built. I don't want to sort of push this video onto like 15 minutes of boring old um, how each screw goes in and so forth. So speed up, make it a bit more interesting. Okay. So I'm just going to put one leg together, quickly show you what the leg looks like, add that to the next stage, and so forth. Right, here we go. right now, you can see this is one of the leg all now assembled. So it's very straightforward. It's a uh, long. Cross um, bit of um, pole, which is the thickest of them all. Mount the end on the air. Put your screw uh, in that side, tight it up nice and tightly. Uh, there's a hole. It goes through the tube, as you can see down the bottom there. It goes through the tube inside, out the other side. So it's very easy to do. Straight through, bolt in. Don't do it too messy tight up because I'm not sure how whether the plastic will crack or not. But obviously hand tight. Again, um, bottom section is a T-bar cross S bar bit. Two two bolts there, one bolt there. Wash it at the back. They, they sink in nicely into the plastic so you don't have to have a, um, a span or anything at the other side. Very straightforward, hold on and, and screw in. Make sure this is quite level either side, straightforward. And then, then obviously these these just literally put on nice and straightforward. So that's um, the first leg done. So I'm just going to do a second leg 
and then we'll look at doing the chassis. As you see now, both legs are done, so nice and neat, nice, easy done. So again, make sure they are level with each other, because uh, by the time you get them up on the chassis and you stand them up, they're not actually going to be balanced right. So they will stand like that, so we're not balanced right on, on, on that side. So make sure they're equally apart with each other, nice and tight. There's both the legs. So we'll now move on to building the chassis. Get the chassis together. So um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six arms to put on. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw them on and I can show you afterwards what they look like on the, the first plate bit. Okay. There we go. We've now got uh, all six arms on. And as you can see, I've gone a bit further actually. I thought I'll put the, well, I've got the base plate out. Uh, it does tell you instructions to put legs on first then put these these arms on and I thought it was easier because because you're juggling about it's probably easier actually to do the arms first so get the bottom plate uh, plate only goes one way around because um, no matter which way you put it they both, I think they're both yeah so on the bottom plate make sure that you've got the plus and negatives facing upwards okay because also you're going to need them to solder on your uh, ECs when it when it comes to it okay so fake placing upwards I would um, screw these on. These these take two screws each from just underneath. We'll take there two uh, two screws to each leg, okay, um, and then screw them nice and tightly. They go to the end ones, so as, as you can see there, goes on the end there, same as our side, and uh, on the end there as well. You can see. And what I've done is I've gone um, screw those all on. Uh, there's no right or wrong way of doing these legs. Straight on, screw them all down. So make sure that they're sort of got a gap between. Um, though you guys can actually see this. Make sure, make sure there's a gap between these, these here. Okay. Uh, otherwise, if you've got them, otherwise you'll have them upside down, because the top one will, the top plate, as you can see, fits into the grooves, nicely like so. Okay. So they don't fit into the grooves. It means you've got them up, up the wrong way. So like nice and easy. And then, then what I had went ahead and done was is I put in the long rod bar bars here so these are separate the, 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 they're sort of like got plastic um, bits in between you just push them in, into the little loop <coughs> screw them down with two bolts each so two four six eight bolts hold that in and then slide the rods in okay so obviously even out more hanging out the back end because obviously this is where the battery trays gonna be sitting okay so there's there's that bit the nice so so far we're almost there so now I'm going to speed ahead now and I'm actually going to put um, the legs on this and then we'll do the top plate. Alright, so we'll screw the legs on next. As you see, that's one leg on there. What I would advise to do when you're doing this is put the two diagonal screws in first, straight through onto, onto here, which I'll do on this side here. As you'll find out, you end up juggling with trying to get the arm holding it up and get it on. So put one in there. Like so, one in the opposite side over here. Quite fiddly screws, <clears throat> so get yourself, I'll get yourself sort of a magnetic um, type tool so you can hold it in there. Screw them right way through so they can come out the bottom and dangle out the bottom a bit. They're quite tight fitting, but they won't actually cross thread. So nice and easy, just straight in there. So then they hang out the bottom. And as you've got that leg on there, it holds it up nice and easy. Then you can just literally put the leg up, screw the other side, and match the holes up. Makes it much, much more easier. So that's what I find anyway. But you probably have your own way of doing this. So whatever's um, easy for you to get this on. So I'll just get this last bit on. So that's the. I only put two screws in there because I'm going to um, speed this up so you're not getting bored. So there's two screws on there, I'll put the other two screws in in a sec. So four screws for each leg, holds them onto place, and there we have it so far. Quadcopter, or hexcopter as we call it, almost put together. Right, legs are on, so I'm just going to give a quick tour around. So that's what legs look like, and that's what it looks like from the, from the top bit. <clears throat> so we're looking down. So take your other plate. Um, it has the S550 marking upwards, so make sure that's facing upward, up towards you, and then place that in that side bit there. So obviously that's going to be facing that way out, which goes in line with the poles underneath. So the poles run 
that way underneath so face it that way outwards and as you can see they actually fit into their grooves nice and easy a little tight fit but it fits in there nicely this build time should take about 15-20 minutes this is the second time I've actually built this because when I did the first lot of videos it was long winded and it was taking over like 45 minutes just to go through everything so I thought I'd brief it all down so I've stripped it down and done it in sta stages so to make it much more easy and quicker for you <clears throat> these, these hold by three screws each one on the plate and that's top plate done so I'm going to go ahead and do that last few bolts to go in now so and that's the all the legs uh, done so one uh, two it's quite arm aching actually I should be standing up doing this but I'm going to keep knocking the camera sorry about that guys but yeah so this should build should take about 15-20 minutes it's very straightforward very easy very easy to go through and the screw and the instructions are pretty good, but you could probably without instructions you can build this anyway. It's very straightforward. The legs are easy, the underneath is easy. The plate putting on is quite easy. The only confusing bit is and the instruction doesn't tell you is which way the, pla the plates go up. So it's very common sense that the plus and negative is facing upwards because that's the way you're going to actually soldering on your ECs and, and all the other gubbins as well. And obviously the S50 logo will obviously look be at the top. I can't see it being underneath. It'd be a bit stupid. But yeah, so there's 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 the what it looks like now. It's got to so we now got that built. I'm just gonna I've done I already previous done the tray, so that was quite straightforward. I have put this um battery um uh, thing the wrong way around. So I'll, I'll do it a bit later. But yeah, it's just uh, four screws on a plate like that. And then this actually then slides round the back here. Maybe you guys can see that. I've got very little room on my bench. So literally Oh, the screen's in the way now. Um well, you can actually see that, but that's just actually slides straight on to there. Um and that's where the battery tray um is going to go. Oh no, I've got the wrong way around. I actually put it that way around. So I try again. So the battery tray Go have these hanging out a bit longer, but they will they will actually slide onto there, onto the rod itself. So I'll just quick go ahead. Right, there you have it. That's the battery tray, all done on the cockopter. You can see that all right? There's a battery tray on there, underneath view. The tray itself. There we go. That's the battery tray done. So that's where you have it now. So that's the hexacopter frame. Make sure it's got a nice, decent um, tool to, for the job. That. There's a tiny little hex on the end there, <coughs> which actually fits every single bolt on there for you. So one of those job you need for this build here. Okay, what I've had come in um, early, a bit later today, which I'm going to do on another build for you guys, is I've got the um, the landing gear on here doesn't fold away. It's it's it stays down all the time. So I wanted to have a landing gear where it will fold up, and I've actually ordered that and it's actually arrived so I'll just quickly show the unboxing of that right this is the landing gear um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make a pro I'm gonna do a price list of everything we've got so far the cost of the, the, the main chassis itself and all the other bits so far so this is the uh, landing gear um, you won't need that so if you've got the S550 uh, chassis which, which I've got here you don't need this plate and gubbins that's for the other type chassis, so that's the adapter for it. So they won't need that. Um, so that's the. I won't get it all out of the box, but there you, as you can see, it's the. Let me show you the. Oh, there you go. You can see that the. That's the automatic um, uh, fold away um, legs, which we'll, we'll install. Once I've got the other bits on there, so he's got, got the box, the controller box there as well, and all the other bits and pieces. So we'll fit them on there. And I'll take. So I thought what I'll do is I'll get the whole build done, and and the very last thing we'll change the bottom bits once we get the electronics in the top. <clears throat> and we'll worry about that afterwards. But I also um, brought um, one of these. What? Get a blue one, nice sparky blue. And that's going to hold your GPS. So once I get my flight controller, GPS will sit on there. And then that will be bolted to your top on that side there. Let me see it. 
so that bolt on the top there and it does fold down so you would unscrew that bottom there folds down for packing away and then we can get it out put it back on there back again nice and easy these come in multiple colors uh, very simple very lightweight um, and it's quite a nice build there's a nice build quality to it as well that's nice sparky blue for we go black we'll get blue so that's that. So we have that. We'll get that all that installed um, when it comes to that. So we, at least I know what those bits there. I've ordered the 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 SCs, which should come this week, um, so we can get them fitted to the bottom bits, and then I can. Um, I'm looking to order my motors at the end of this month, so we can get the motors on there. Then we can solder all this together, and then hopefully in November, uh, mid-November, I will order the flight controller. And we can mount all the radio gear in the top. And then it's all the other bits and pieces, the radio, radio receiver, and then the gimbal, and finally we'll get the um, uh, the FPV stuff, so we can actually see it, see it in the air through the GoPro camera. I'm gonna fit a GoPro 4 on this one um, for rec recording, and we get to, we can get and then get to test fight it very soon. So hopefully before Christmas or just after Christmas, we we'll hope to get it all put together. So it all depends on money and funding as well. So. There we have it. So that's the Hexcopter chassis build. Um, when the other bits come in, we'll do those and we'll do another video. Until then, if you um, like this, please subscribe because um, we're getting into the competition to win this. So get enough subscribers and enough of you um, enter, then a uh, good chance to win this. Okay, so get subscribing now. Please share um, and please comment so we can make this video much more better as we go forward, as the channel starts developing. Um, so I don't bore you guys. So we'll keep things nice and short. So until next time, happy flying.